no. I didn't know what. Hey guys, so today I'm in America. Oh my god. That was my horrible and probably quite insulting impression of an American accent, so I'm sorry about that. American people. Americans. Americans. It's like something from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Americans are coming. I'm in America. Yeah! San Francisco, by the way, if you're interested. You're probably not. Which I would show you, but currently, it's very misty. So I'm basically living in a big misty block. I kicked my family out of our hotel suite for a few hours whilst I sit in a hotel room talking to a camera. I am the coolest. But yeah, when I finally told all my friends that I was going to America, they were all like, take me in your suitcase. Which is what people say, by the way, if you're going somewhere interesting. If you tell your friend you're going on holiday and they don't say, take me in your suitcase, then it probably means you're going somewhere really boring or peasanty, or horrible, like Scotland. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm Scottish. I'm actually half Scottish, in case you didn't know, so I'm allowed to be racist to myself. Scotland! Anyway, this got me thinking about what it would actually be like to take your friend in a suitcase with you, because when I was a kid and people said that, I, I kind of considered it. I was like, yeah, I could probably fit Bethany and William in a suitcase, but I don't think it would work. I think they'd probably end up dead. It'd be fun though. Hey, you'll never guess who's going on holiday. <gasps> I'm going to America. Can I come in your suitcase? Sure. Yeah! Right then, Nora, let's go to America. Yeah, all of my friends are fat. I'm joking. I don't have any friends. That was basically what went through my mind when I was thinking about it, but then I thought, you could totally use that to get rid of your enemies. I'm going to America. Can I come in your suitcase? <laughs> sure. <laughs> but then what if they went, Hey, you'll never guess who's going on holiday. <gasps> Can I come in your suit? Don't you want to come in my suitcase? N no, you're okay. <laughs> Uh, Scotland. I've actually only been in America for one day and I've already found out so many weird things. This place is so strange. The weirdest thing I've found out so far is the way that Americans censor swear words in music. So say there was a song that went like this. You really smell. Fuck your face, you penis. <gasps> In England, they just take the words penis and fuck and turn them into nice words like bum and poo. <laughs> poo on your face, you bum bum. But what do they do in America? Make you shit yourself. In America, they're a lot less subtle about their song censorship. So I was on the plane here listening to the music in the in-flight entertainment when suddenly I found out that you guys just bleep out the bad words like we do in TV shows. You just put a big bleep. You really smell. So that's the weirdest thing I've found about America, like, other than the fact that when you have a pizza here, it makes you pregnant. Like, seriously, I have like seven food babies. They will all be called Colin! Everyone say hello to Colin. Colin, 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 Colin. And lastly, but not least, Colin. Ah. Oh. Colin. Let me know in the comment section below. Well, the weirdest thing about your country is, or country that you've been on holiday to, options. And also, I'm hopefully going to be doing some videos with YouTubers next week, because I'm going to VidCon. So let me know which YouTubers you'd like to see. Or if you're a YouTuber going to VidCon, then let me know in the comments as well, if you'd like to be involved. Hopefully everyone will thumb it up, and I'll be able to see it. And then we can make a video. I'm going to get lots of YouTubers in a video, because I've got a really good idea. A really good, a really good idea. A really good idea. Idea. Really good. Bye. You've been watching Luke Cutforth. Luke is not funny. Luke is not smart. But most of all, Luke is not sexy. <laughs>